Welcome to the Nikon D3000 Advanced Tutorial from Quick Pro Guides. This tutorial will help you go beyond the basics and get the most out of your camera. This tutorial is meant to be a study tool in conjunction with, but not a replacement of, your camera's manual. The topics covered here will give you a great working knowledge of your camera's features and functions, but keep in mind that not every configuration will be covered. This tutorial will give you a solid foundation to build your photography skills on. Let's begin. The Nikon D3000 has a 10.2 megapixel DX format CCD image sensor. With an image sensor this large, you'll be able to make large quality prints when shooting in the camera's highest resolution. Nikon has included a self-cleaning function that removes dust from the image sensor. This is done with a small vibration that is felt when the camera is powered on or off. The D3000 includes another great feature called Guide Mode that takes the guesswork out of digital SLR photography. It walks you through advanced picture taking with an on-screen guide. Nikon has done a great job making this camera simple to use and able to take great pictures. You can watch this video entirely in one sitting or by section according to your needs. Press the menu button at any time to return to a menu and feel free to use the skip forward or back buttons to get to the chapter or section you want. This chapter is also covered in the basics DVD so if you've already watched it go ahead and skip forward. In addition to the video, there is an interactive camera tour designed to help you become more familiar with your camera and its functions. Let's begin with a quick overview of the major parts of a digital SLR camera. The first item is the lens. The lens magnifies and focuses an image. It also controls how much or how little light will enter the camera. The second element is the shutter. The shutter assembly reflects the image into the viewfinder so you can see it. When the shutter button is pressed, the shutter opens for a very precise period of time in order to expose the image sensor to the focused image. The third component is the image sensor. The image sensor is a silicon chip that, like film in older cameras, is exposed to an image and precisely records that image so it can be converted to a digital file for storage on a memory card. The final item is the memory card. The memory card is used to store your images as digital files. Different cameras use different types of memory cards. Standard memory card formats include SD, memory stick, compact flash, and XD. Your camera uses SD memory cards. The memory card serves the same purpose as film in older cameras. They store the images. Memory cards are available from a variety of different manufacturers. Memory cards are intended to be reused and should be reformatted before use to ensure they operate correctly. You can permanently store your images on memory cards, but it's usually better and more cost effective to back up your images on a computer hard drive or burn them to a CD or DVD. Many professional photographers make sure their images are backed up at least two times on different storage devices. Image files will vary in size depending on the resolution and quality settings you use on your camera. Digital images are made up of tiny pixels. A megapixel is equal to one million pixels. The higher the number of megapixels, the higher the quality of the picture. For example, images from cameras with 6 megapixels can make high quality prints at 11 by 14 or larger. And images from 10 megapixel cameras can make high quality prints at 16 by 20 or larger. 